All right, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna try to get this in before it rains on me. We're gonna see what happens here. Today you're gonna need a band. Um, I have two different types, kind of a, a thinner one that provides less resistance, and then a thicker one, and someplace you can attach it to, preferably a pole where you can adjust the height, because we're gonna need to do kind of like a chest level and waist level and so forth. So in any case, let's get started. I'm gonna go down in a squat position. So once you're, start down here, and then up, up, and stand. And ready and go. So squat, up, up, and stand. And back down, up, up, and stand. And keep going. So it's, you're warming up the lower body, plus also the shoulders. You're stretching those shoulders up too. Down, up, up, and go. Keep going. <clears throat> Let's keep going. That was only 30 seconds, so keep going. And stop. Let's bounce on the right foot. You're looking down, your chest is down. And once you're down, one arm comes up. I keep my bounce. <laughs> Another arm comes up. And let's go. Well, same leg, up and stretch. And there. And keep going. About halfway there. Keep going. Yeah, you guys are gonna laugh. Start starting, but we're gonna keep going. All right, and switch legs. Same thing, chest down, looking down, and start the timer. There you go. So one arm up. There you go, other side. There you go. Up. There you go. Up. There you go. Keep going. Yeah, just like I mentioned on another video, my gym is here outside you know, outdoors. So I'm gonna work out, rain or shine or whatever. It's, you just, you just do it, basically. About 15 seconds. All right, next, back of the hands together and a big open wide. Back of the hands together and big open wide. Angle. So back, ankle, back, angle, back, angle, back, angle. In and really touching the backs and opening wide in there. And open. Keep going. About 10 seconds. Good. Next, you're just going to sit down and squat. Sit as deep as you can and hold. Let's go. 
elbows in the inside of your knees there and just hold. You can kind of rock side to side too. And just sit. seconds. Good. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to the band. I already have the band wrapped around the, the pole here. Make sure it's sturdy. You can split your stance and then you're just pressing forward. Ready and go. So press, 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 press. And as you do that movement, press from where it's comfortable for you. Try not to go too wide. You're trying to feel where it's the best pathway there, the most natural pathway, and press. So you're using your chest here, your triceps are helping to press. And press, 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 press. As it gets harder, you can use your hips a little bit to drive into it. Switch hands. Sure, this hand's not going to show very well on the camera, but <clears throat> split your stance and press. There you go. Five seconds. Good. Next, facing the uh, the post where you are. I'll do it from this side. You can see you can see better. I like to split my stance. I'm gonna do a row. So you're pulling with your back. Your bicep is helping. And let's go. Fifty-five seconds for these. Pull. Squeeze. I squeeze the back. There you go. Pull. In there. Pull. In there. Pull. In there. About 10 seconds, keep going. And switch, other side. I'm gonna go from here so you can kind of see. And ready, go. So either here, both feet straight ahead or split. And roll. And I'm pulling by uh, like about chest level. Sometimes I pull to the eyes, but I just prefer in the chest. Honestly, like over the years, these have never broken, but some of the other tubings, like with the handles, 
they have broken. I broke once with a client. I'd rather have the band snap and hit you here than hit you in the face. These have never snapped, so don't worry. About 10 seconds. Next one we call it, uh, I guess it's called a kayak row. I'm taking a grip on the band this way, facing the post there, and I'm chopping side and come to the middle and side. So chop and chop. Pulling down almost straight arms. Arms are locked and I'm pulling from the back again. All right, let's go, ready, go. So hands here and chop and chop to the other side. Chop and chop. Chop and chop. 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 Keep going. For the most part, I use that kind of a slower and steady rhythm. Sometimes there's a reason to go fast on those, but in general, I would just do a slow and controlled movement on those. And good. Next one. <laughs> You're gonna use the outside hand and put that on the band. The other hand is going on top. So imagine here, the band is coming in here. You're gripping here first. So this arm is working first, pulling out. The other hand is locked on top. I'm gonna to come from the abs, lock here and pull out. So I step on my wife's pants. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> She's not going to watch this video anyway, so it's okay. Nobody tell her. <laughs> yeah, so I'm contracting the abs and chop out. You can use your hips a little bit too, but I prefer it mostly comes from the abs there. Keep going. About 15 seconds. All right, and then switch around the other way. Once again, outside arm, hand grips on that band first, and other hand on top. Ready and go. Pulling out that way. Up this way, so you can kind of see. And I'm pulling, like, Let's say chest level or belly button level, I'm chopping straight across here this way. Keep going. Five seconds. Good. Next one. I'm gonna try to hold your arms straight, locked out, and then go to a squat. I'm trying to squat up and down evenly, and the arms are trying to lock them out. So ready and go. Here, lock. Hold that lock position and up and down. 
tension on your abs, tension on the arms. Keep going. Go ahead and switch sides real quick. Outside arm is on there. Lock coming from your abs and squat. Keep going. About 15 seconds. Facing the anchor point there, you're gonna to go to either one arm or both arm curl, depending on the um, strength of that band. All right, nice posture, chest chest high. There you go. So either both hands coming in, right, or the one hand coming in. seconds keep going and good still facing that direction you're going to go to a tricep kickback same thing Depending on the strength of the band, the band, you can just kick down to your your thighs with both hands. I'm gonna start the timer. Let's go. So both, or go to one. And I really don't care how the grip is, if it's underhand or overhand, and you're chopping back. Same side, or both. As you push down, contract your triceps. One of the big parts of any workout when you're doing the exercises is to be mindful of what you're working. Focus on those triceps. Back, back, back. About three seconds. Okay, good. Next one. You may need to adjust the band. And you're actually gonna need to get step inside the band. Let's see what I'm gonna do this here. Yeah, good. <laughs> so you got some tension there, right? Facing that one direction. As you're leaning out a little bit with tension pulling you, you're gonna do squats. Ready and go. And move this. Here and go. Here and go. It's too easy, step out a little bit more. You feel the tension. It feels kinda easy in the beginning, but it does start to pull on you. Trying to fight that pull in. Keep going. About 15 seconds. Remember, try to stay in that line. Fight the pull. Good. Don't get out of the band. Just turn around, right? And you're gonna do the squat in the other direction. So it would be like that. And go. I'm not gonna do it away from the camera, but you know, fighting the pull and squat 
right up and evenly up and down. Keep going. About 20 seconds. I've taken it off because we're going to do something else with it after this, but finish up. All right. So undo the band from that point there. And I'm holding the ends of the band, kind of like purse or luggage or something. You're gonna step on both parts of the band with both feet. So I'm stepping on it here, that underhand grip. And then I'm standing up tall, I'm squeezing the back of my legs and everything. Squeezing my glutes, just like that. Ready and go. It's a version of a deadlift, you know, you're gazing forward, your chest is high, and you're just extending up. Really squeeze the back of your legs as you come up, you'll get a lot more out of the exercise. And up. And up. Keep going. Okay, good. Next, get your mat out. And we're gonna start with a crunch position. Knees are bent, hands across your chest, and you're gonna to try to roll down on the crunch. I hope this gets in the camera here. Yeah, we're good. So hands across your chest, and roll, 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 down slow. And go. So here, here, here. There you go. Keep going. Yeah, the important part is you like you're rolling out your spine slowly. If you need to use your hands to help yourself up, you know, go ahead and do that. Now like halfway there. About 10 seconds. It's gonna start raining. Then you can start laughing. Good. On your backs, legs are straight up and let them slowly lower, 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 lower. Knees into your chest and up. And go. camera is secure under a nice dry place and I am not so let's see what happens here about halfway there I'm actually grateful for all, all this rain it's fantastic for the vegetables and stuff I'm happy. About 10 seconds. And no, I'm not going to get a cold either. All right. Next, um, face down on your mats. And you may not be able to see it, but basically, I'm looking down at the mat, and then I'm lifting right arm 
right thumb up and left leg up at the same time. The whole body isn't squirming, you know, it's just lifting. <laughs> Ready and go. So up and up, up and up. Keep going. Hope that makes sense. I know it's kind of hard to see. I ran out of room there, but you can imagine. You're working on the shoulders, the back, strengthening the back. It's that cross pattern. Alternate, alternate, all the time letting your head rest by looking down. It's going to get interesting. About 10 seconds. All right, make sure you're going to roll to the side plank. So you're here. I'm just going to the knee. And once that knee is there, I'm open closing. Let's go. Up. You need to do like a clam or open. Switch side. Go up. Keep going. Told you. It's gonna get interesting. Interesting here. We're almost done. You guys just sit inside and do it inside. Go to plank position, so on your forearms, uh, legs straight out, and then once the legs are out, tap out and in, tap out and in, and you can go. You may not be able to see it. Here, tap out, and out. My hair is getting messed up. Next one's gonna be good. It's gonna be a banana rock hold in the rain. Ten seconds. All right, ready for this? So arms and legs out, holding up in the ring. Let's go. Now stretches. Change it to 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm pretty soft. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, left leg out straight. Right leg in. And bend the out. Stretching out, sorry. I think that camera is dry in the area.
go to the other lake. Hey, go. Let me check the camera here for a second. Next we're going to go to a pigeon, so let's start with the left leg. Left leg crosses over, and then the leg is straight back, and go hold. Just feel it like in your glutes. Let's see them crossed here, and then there. Get out of the rain. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or email me. I had fun today. You guys did too. See ya.